Before this next circuit is revealed, there's a bit of a backstory to Promulgate. Because 47 creations can be saved onto a memory card, that meant that one country could only have three custom stages rather than four. That unfortunate distinction went to Indonesia. This was the old Jaffa stage, a very simple circuit with just eight corners and an almost vertical climb at the end. The latter feature was mostly retained for its replacement, Ultimo, a circuit that takes an oval and beats it up with a sledgehammer. This stage demands respect, with a veritable range of challenging corners, some with blind entries, waiting to catch the driver out. Let's take a look at this roller coaster ride. Just going through turn 20, which is a bit of a fiddly corner, and to be honest, not an ideal way to start the lap, but anyway. Turn 1, the co driver thinks it's a right, but it's actually a left, followed by a sharp right. Turn 3 has the potential to be very difficult, but that's quite well controlled through there. Don't turn in early for 4, otherwise you'll be through the fence into someone's cabbage patch. Approaching turn 5, which is blind on entry, but you must commit. Carry as much speed as possible through the corners, because momentum is key going into the uphill section that follows. Bit of a jump, and slightly heavy landing, but no momentum lost. That's quite well done through 8. A series of 90 degree corners now, the first of which turn 9, is a fairly open left, but suddenly it's a sharp right. Next is a sharp left, which the co-driver completely forgot about, because he's a dopey twat. That was the last of the 90s, and 13 is a bit of a nothing kink. Bit of respite now as we go through a very long right of 14, but there is a jump halfway through, so you've got to keep your wits about you there. Nevertheless, it's quite a relaxing corner, reaching top speeds of nearly 190 as we enter sector 3. That was turn 15, a fast medium left, and a long medium right now. Ordinarily, it would just be a 90 degree right and just finish the lap there, but not this one. This one carries on for another couple hairpins. Here's the first one. Get the speed scrubbed off as much as possible, otherwise you'll be in the forest. Late apex, that was very good through there. Now then, turn 19, the final hairpin, and just going a bit too quickly and nudging at someone's fence, and then the fiddly turn 20, nearly stopping as we go through the apex. But anyway, we finish the lap. So all that hard work resulted in a 1 minute 36.06 second lap. And that's a new record! Nice! A new record by a mere 7 hundredths of a second though, so only just beat it. I'm pretty pleased with that one actually, because it's one of the most challenging circuits of the whole series. And the first sector in particular was very good, don't think I could have improved much on that. Second sector was pretty good as well, I could have improved going through turn 14 specifically where the big jump is situated. Could have been a bit braver through there. And I could have improved the final sector a bit as well. The turn 19 hairpin wasn't particularly smooth. Neither was turn 20 for that matter. Always difficult to get those corners right. In fact, come to think of it, is this the most challenging circuit in the whole series? Wait until exactly 12 episodes time, then you'll have the answer to that question. So that was the Ultimo circuit. Next, we will be heading to a circuit that is extremely different to the one we've just been on. Clowries in Australia. So stay tuned and see you soon.